Good morning traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading. Today is September 23rd, 2014 and today is Tuesday. So looking at the markets and looking at some of the economic calendar coming out today. Just one number coming out today. The Euro uh, German manufacturing PMI number uh, which you know generally has some sort of impact on the markets. Uh, markets are a little bit quiet yesterday. Uh, looking at the Euro USD still consolidating a little bit. Uh, bouncing a little bit right here and now we're selling off a little bit but you know it's been a tight range for the euro I think at this stage it's trying to consolidate and find its its bottom um, and really just firm up the bottom before it you know pops up a little bit maybe it'll pop up to 130 131 uh, it's a hard say because it has been beaten up so uh, so much in the past two and a half months three months uh, that you know it, it's you can't just say that it's due for a bounce, so to speak. So just because it's been beating up doesn't mean that it's due for a bounce. It could consolidate for quite some time before it does make a, a bounce or does make a, a little bit of a recovery. Uh, so, you know, and and honestly speaking, Draghi's not saying anything or not doing anything that to really give us a impetus to go up higher. So we may see some tremendous consolidation in the major pair. Um, of the euro USD. Remember, the euro USD is the most traded currency internationally. Uh, so, uh, eyes are on it generally to see some sort of uh, reaction to it. And as such, most of the other markets have been quiet as well. So, looking at the GBP Japanese yen uh, is one that's been trading. And like we said, it's been very strong, making some comebacks here. As you can see, once it broke the 175 level, took out 177 and, and just traded shy of 180 looking on a monthly chart that's a major recovery so there is a little bit of a resistance here as you can see previously right here uh, where it broke above 180 to 185 uh, we're hitting here at this 180 threshold so we're just gonna we're gonna fight it a little bit it looks like before we're gonna take it out so nothing to really jump on there's no clear you know buy or sell you know I would say right now but definitely something that I would keep an eye on uh, as things develop in the currencies. Looking at gold, uh, gold right now is actually uh, selling off, uh, but looking at an eight hour chart, we're still on the bottom threshold of here. Uh, looking at an eight hour chart, uh, let's let's see where we could see another support level. There's a little bit of a support level here at 1215, but further support level at 1190. So uh, 1200 is always round up number so that would be a, a decent support for it and then you know 1180 would I would say on the downside resistance level is 1240 uh, maybe even sooner than that 1230 uh, but it has been selling off as you can see and then we're selling off actually this morning if we look at a five minute chart so we just sold off about four dollars this morning uh, very quick trades so lots of opportunity here just because it's it's trading okay there's there's volatility in it there's follow through a little bit uh, but if you can you know grab these grab these movements you can definitely take advantage of it looking at the Dow Jones Dow Jones sold off yesterday a little bit we're holding at 17,172 uh, and we retraced quite nicely so we're at this bottom of this level here let's see if we can hold on if this is going to be a new support level, previous resistance, previous resistance, previous resistance. Let's see if we'll hold the support level uh, to take it up higher again. Remember, fall is usually a time where the markets retrace a lot. So on the short side, just be a little bit wary on it. Uh, the USDs are also sold off a little bit yesterday. You see some few points, uh, some 20 to 30 pips yesterday it sold off. Uh, but, you know, as I said, you know, it has some resistance at this, uh, 11 ish area okay which we kinda hit it yesterday a little bit uh, from the previous time that we hit it when was it last year or the beginning of the year so like I said it has been quite quite uh, trading quite nicely so it has been popping up looking at oil quickly uh, oil sold off yesterday quite nicely if you see here a big sell off yesterday uh, they take it up higher and then they sell it off so uh, oil has been very weak for this time of the year. It's generally, it generally, um, you know, it's kind of funny because the things that generally do something during this time of the year are generally are not doing it this year. So oil is usually rallying this time of the year due to hurricanes in the, uh, in the Gulf of Mexico, 
and uh, disturbing the supply of oil to the United States and you see here that it's just really weak every time we went up we just sold right off so since the summer we really sold off quite harshly of about 15 to 20 points almost um, so continue looking on the downside for oil uh, I believe the next downside on oil would be uh, just below 90 at 89 uh, and then at 87 and you know further on the lower 80s so um, you know it's it's actually noteworthy to keep an eye on this because it's uh, it's been so weak this is Fred Rayzak at CM Trading I want to wish you guys a great trading day thanks